So as a pilot and new engine owner, you should get familiar with the procedures that will keep that engine flying in peak condition. That is, what to look for during the installation of your new or rebuilt engine. How to handle the initial startup and break in, as well as executing proper maintenance and normal operating procedures. Let's focus on the installation. It would be so easy if we could just bolt the engine onto the airframe and place the aircraft back into service. But crucial elements need to be considered when installing a new or reconditioned engine. Instrumentation, baffles and seals, the oil cooler and air filter and their associated hoses are important parts of the overall system. Many high-use aircraft had their engines overhauled two, three, or more times, yet still retain the original gauges. For instance, a tachometer with a 5 to 10 percent error in calibration will greatly increase the load on the propeller and the engine bearings during operation. The cylinder head temperatures and exhaust gas temperatures are indicators of change in the engine. For high performance engines, these indicators are critical when setting the mixture or monitoring the condition of the engine. So the tachometer, EGT, oil temp and CHT gauges should be calibrated at this point and not overlooked. Be sure to use the most recent printing of the appropriate service bulletin. But what about oil temperature during operation? Is it too hot? Not hot enough? Ben Visser has the answer. 